Well, hopefully that title got your attention. Hey guys, um, it is Tony Van Schoik and I wanted to share something with you today. I've had some really interesting, crucial conversations with some people and the reason why I called this live Don't Be a Hypocrite is because I have so many people that continuously come to me saying my business isn't growing, okay? So I go back and I ask them, what are you doing in your personal business? Okay, the answer usually is when is the last time you sponsored a market partner? When's the last time that you had a VIP? Oh, three or four months ago. Okay, now, especially if you guys are leading a team and whether it's just you as your team, <laughs> one market partner, two, 10, 20, hundreds, thousands, it doesn't matter. Here's the thing, you guys. You can't expect people to do what you're not willing to do yourself. And when you go teach and coach your, your team that, and you're not doing it, what does that make you? Okay, it, exactly. It makes you a hypocrite. So the thing about it is, is that if you're going to ask someone to do something, okay, you've got to be the one doing it first. It's the way that you relate to your team. It's how you show how the business is done. Now, I'm going to tell you that personal activity is going to solve any problem in your business. So when people come to me and they ask me, Tony, my team isn't growing. Tony, I can't get to the next rank. Tony, I can't do this. I can't do that. It all goes back to personal activity. And every single time, 100% of the time, you guys, it's because they have not focused on their own personal business. They either sit on the couch and think that business is just gonna come to them, okay? And early on, and when you first start in your business, that's the way it is, because everybody, it's new. They've heard about it. So the great thing is, is that you have got to always be, because your business changes. In two years, it's not gonna look like what, what it did when you first started. You've gotta get out there, and you've got to be putting new people in your pipeline. So right now, like my business is a lot different than it was two years ago or even three years ago, but here's what I do. Last week, I felt good enough. Thursday, I went to a networking event. Today, I have two. Next week, I have two. I am meeting new people to put them into my pipeline and then I am scheduling events actually at my home and I am saying, hey, you know what? Come over to my house, have a glass of wine. You can try all the product that you want. And then I have everything out there that they can try. I mean, not everything. I just, you know, again, keep it simple. The skincare is so simple because there's only seven products with that. So you're either going to be be balanced or be gentle. Just rub that little strip on their face. Boom, you're in business, right? The other thing is, too, is that I use the Renew Shampoo and the Revitalized Conditioner. Um, sometimes if they want to do a mask treatment, that's totally up to them. But they're washing their own hair. I'm not doing it. If they want to try those products, that's great. But for instant healing, you can use the leave-in conditioner or you can smooth it out with a couple of drops of rejuvenic oil. But the whole point of it is, guys, you got to get into activity and you've got to get in front of people. Um, I see a lot of people doing like, um, and I don't know if I would use girl wash your face because that is kind of Rachel Hollis's. Just doing fun stuff like that. We did something last night. We had a couple of guests there. It was awesome. Um, but, you know, they got to get down and dirty, you know, right in the bathroom with the skincare doing their own face. So, you guys, there's always, always a way. But the thing is, you got to invite them. You got to get them over, get in front of them, take them a beauty basket. I don't care. It does not matter. Um, through the Connect app, um, I actually have put, and I... I was the one, and I wasn't using it until the skincare came out, right? Um, but I just started using the Connect app, and I've actually sent out a couple of also people that are interested in both, but they've all paid for them except for one person. And that one person I sent it to because I really want her business, and I've known her for a really long time, and she's very holistic, and she's all into clean products. So, you know, I don't, I'm not paying for someone else to try our product. I just don't do it. So, anyways... I just wanted to share that with you today because you guys, at the end of the day, it's personal activity. It's your personal business. I don't sponsor every month. I don't get a VIP every month, but I am somewhat consistent. My goal is to build a block every month. And you know what? 80% of the time, I do exactly that. And for me, that does take work because, you know, there's so many people that um, I, you know, that I have reached out to hundreds of people since I started Money, maybe even more. Um, I haven't done a list yet, but I am doing the 100 no's with you this month and 30 faces in 30 days. I'm on face number 10. Mwah. So here's the thing. 
I don't expect it from you if I'm not doing it too. Ooh, I may have to use that line. All right, you guys, take care. Have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye.